Okay. She's down. Nice. Should these people go over and subscribe to the Brotherhood Outdoors channel? Of course. Yeah, bro. Reagan, should they subscribe to the <laughs> Brotherhood Outdoors channel? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've subscribed to me. Yeah, subscribe to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, um, this is as much as I'm going to show you, but if you want to see the hunting vlogs and what takes place and all the hunts on camera, footage, the mistakes, the trials and errors, the success stories, subscribe to the Brotherhood Outdoors YouTube channel. Link is always in the description below. And let's get on with the video. literally what my dog does every day we have to move this grill back to the corner because he pushes it like halfway across the deck and he finally today got it from that corner all the way off not cool bro oh fam I do just absolutely love deer season it's my favorite time of the year to me it is like to most people how they feel about Christmas that's how I feel about deer hunting but probably even more excited I don't know I just absolutely love it every aspect of it the pursuit the planting of the food plots then you have deer coming in grazing on those food plots giving you those shots and then when you're done hunting you still get camera pictures of all the deer feeding on the plots that you planted for them to make it through the winters every aspect of it i just absolutely love it but today for the loud and proud upload we're gonna have to do some work on swapping wheels and tires so reagan's second gen her 24 valve is going to be getting a new lift kit a new front axle all this stuff so we've got to drop it off to start getting dismantled this Friday, which is in just two days. And I have to get the 24 by 14s off of her truck. That way it'll fit on the trailer, no problem. That way we can haul it up to Devon to get the lift kit installed and get that all taken care of so she can drive that truck much more regularly all over again. Let's get to it. By the way, if you want to enter to win this truck and get 20X entries, that deal is ending in four days this is the best deal of the entire giveaway there's not going to be any entry period that's higher than 20x so i would grab those while you can so here is the rosine 24v that we've been talking about off and on hopefully it starts up she was just running it and driving it the other day it is plenty warm out of course it's not I'm not worried about it being cold but hopefully the battery's not weak i know she didn't drive it very long so that's always a possibility according to the voltage it has it should have enough but it's gonna be close <laughs> uh, let's see hey let's go Now what I'm going to try to do is put the 2015 fourth gen wheels on this truck to see if they fit. Uh, if they don't, then we're not going to put them on. <laughs> but I'm going to take one of the back ones off first just to see if one of them will slide on. That way I can find out before I put the front ones on because I know those will work. Um, put these on because they have like a fixed hub on them. And then uh, if it works, sweet because those will look really good on this truck. If they don't work, we have other options as well. Well, it looks like the fourth gen stocks that came off the 2015 single cab that we had actually fit this truck just fine. So I know the lug pattern was the same. That's not what I meant when I thought, I don't know if they're gonna fit or not. I meant like with the fixed cap on them. Since they don't have a cap that just like pops off so you can stick the hub through. I know that on the first gen truck like this, but the blue one, I tried to put the stocks on it and the hubs on the end, like the axle hub was so deep that it wouldn't slide on close enough to actually even thread on the lug nut. So it didn't work, but the second gen ones aren't quite as deep. So these work on it just fine.
Here it is, all clean wheels. Got them all nice and shined up. You can actually see a reflection in them now. That's it's amazing. We've got the 2015 stocks on the second gen. Looks great. I really like it. These wheels actually sit like flush with the body lines, which is actually kind of nice versus being super tucked in. It's a good look for the truck, honestly. Now, of course, Reagan doesn't want to keep this setup on it, but this is what we're putting on it just to put it on the car hauler trailer so we can get it hauled up to Devon to get the lift kit put on and the new axle. Here is the new axle for it. It's going to be getting a lot of new components, like it might be getting you know, new brakes, rotors, stuff like that. The stuff that was on it was in really good shape. She just rust-oleum coated everything because the shop told her just give it a quick rust-oleum paint coat. Otherwise, everything's just going to like have a ton of oxidation just from sitting outside in the rain and stuff and not being sheltered like under the body of a truck. So that's what she did because you can kind of see where she didn't get it down there. It's already starting to a little bit and it was all like sandblasted and shiny. So they're like, if you don't go to something, it's going to be completely orange immediately. So they would they said spray something on it if it's going to be sitting outside for any amount of time. And it looks really good. So she's going to get the coil trays cut out and new ones welded in. I think Devin's stepdad's going to be doing that. Everything else is in pretty darn good shape other than those and the axle should be pretty much good to go. For everybody wondering why another axle, like what's the point? So this truck was actually in a front end side collision when it was previously owned. And what that does is it makes the wheel sit pretty much tilted in a little bit up at the top. And I'll show you what it's supposed to look like on this side, which is, you know, not tilted in. Wheels uh, turned a little bit, so, um, but right there is the straight up and down you know, the way it's supposed to be. So the actual hub of the axle itself was completely bent. Uh, ball joints didn't fix it. Our only option was apparently to get a new front axle, new as in used new, get it sandblasted, repainted, and throw it under the truck. That way there's no more vibration in terms of when you have big wheels and tires, you can feel a little bit of a vibration from this side uh, just because the tread is obviously not riding even on the road when you're going down. So hopefully guys enjoyed the quick little transition for this truck in terms of the wheels and tires. If you want to get 20 entries, that deal is ending very soon. We are going to be going out and hunting again tonight. And like I said, if you enjoyed that intro or you enjoy the idea of deer hunting outdoors, stuff like that, we are bringing back the Brotherhood Outdoors hunting channel, which is my first ever YouTube channel. It's the channel that got me into YouTube, into the video world at all in the first place. So if you wanna watch a bunch of the cringiest videos from me from about, I don't know, 14, 15 years old, up until recent, um, go check it out. It's the Brotherhood Outdoors channel, link in description. And uh, we're gonna be posting a hunt, I think tonight we should be posting our first hunt on there. And then the next one should be going up in a couple days. And we're going out tonight again to film. I now have a buck tag because I harvested my doe for the urban zone on day two of the season. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting because we saw seven bucks yesterday alone, but I couldn't shoot any. And my number one buck was at 25 yards, but I didn't have a buck tag yet. So as of this morning, I now do. So we're gonna be getting to work in the stand, getting some hunting done, putting in some time, and really trying to get as much quality footage as we can. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So if you wanna get in on that, head on over there, subscribe. Anyways, guys, hopefully enjoy the video. Don't forget that if you want to enter to win this truck, you've got about 19 days left, 19, 20 days left at most. And then the giveaway will be over and gone by October 7th. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully enjoy the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.